body is the temple of the Holy Spirit that lives in the inside of you. That means then you are a carrier of something greater in and through your life. What is this that you carry? You carry the Godhead in the inside of you and with you wherever you go. And that's why you've got to purpose in your heart to live a holy life. Walk in righteousness. Walk in holiness. Everything that you do must exhibit and demonstrate who you are in Christ. Everything you do and you say must exhibit, must portray, must showcase who lives in the inside of you, who controls your life, and who is the master of your life. Not the flesh, but the spirit of God that is in the inside of you. Who is the Holy Spirit that we are talking about? That Paul is emphasizing, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the desires, the cravings of the flesh. Who is the Holy Spirit? People of God, the Holy Spirit is not it. I repeat again, the Holy Spirit is not it. The Holy Spirit is not some little influence somewhere. The Holy Spirit is a divine person with divine attributes, divine characteristics, and with divine personality. The Holy Spirit is a divine person with divine attributes, divine characteristics, and divine personality. He is the third person of the Trinity or the triune God. The Holy Spirit is God indwelling us. God who lives in the inside of us and works within us to fulfill the will of God. Let me help you child of God. When you repented of your sins and you came to the Lord Jesus Christ, other than being forgiven, other than your name being written in the book of life, you received the Holy Spirit in measure at salvation. You received the Holy Spirit in measure. There was a measure of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is saying, before you go to evangelize, before you go out to cast devils, before you go out to heal the sick, there's something you must do. You must receive what I received. You must receive what I received when John was baptizing me. And Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 confirms it. How God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power. From that point, Jesus Christ lives the river Jordan in the power of the Spirit as a dynamo. A power generating savior. That's why wherever he went, devils crammed out. Wherever he went, when somebody died, he had to resurrect them. People of God, it is through the baptism and the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Number one, we are anointed for service and effective ministry. It is through the baptism and the infilling of the Holy Spirit that we get to know in depth the will and mind of God concerning our lives. Because when you receive the Holy Spirit baptism, you receive the unction in you. And the word of God says in 1 John chapter 2, 27. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 27. But the anointing which you have received from him abides where? Come on, abides where? That's a treasure. Abides in you. That's an indwelling praises of God in you abides in you and you do not need that anyone teach you but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things that is true and it's not a lie just as it is taught you will abide in him there is an unction that is on your life and in the inside of you there is a treasure that is in the inside of you and that treasure helps you to understand the will and the mind of God concerning your life children of God there is a treasure that every believer must have in, inside of him
There is a treasure every child of God must desire to have him. And this desire is nothing but the Holy Spirit in the inside of you. Let your living water flow on my soul. Let your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come and take control of every situation.